Here we are in section 4.3 with numbers 1 through 9. In 1 and 2 we're supposed to simplify. So let's use our rules of exponents to see if we can get these together. First let's take care of all the negative exponents. That guy's going to go up and that guy's going to go down. So we have k x squared, that's an x to the positive 3 now as that negative exponent took it up to the top. g over f squared and then that one going down is an f to the first. Now when we multiply them, we get k x to the, these two are multiplied so we add those exponents, x to the fifth, g and then on the bottom the 2 and the 1 add together so we get an f cubed. And there we go, there's number 1. Number 2, um, this negative 1 can go into everything. We could take it to that one, but we're just going to take it to that guy, that guy, and that guy. So we get 1 over 4 to the negative 1, a to the negative 2, that's negative 1 times 2, and b to the positive 3, which means that guy goes up to the top and that guy goes up to the top. And then, so that's 4 to the 1 up on top, a squared over b to the third power. Indeed. Number three. We're going to take these. Now notice here it says write your answer in both scientific notation and decimal form. So we can't just do it in one or the other. We've got to do it in both of them. Let's get out our handy dandy calculator here and see what we get. Uh, 1.23 times 10 to the negative third power times 4.36 times 10 to the fourth. And we get a decimal there of 53.628. In scientific notation, we just need to move the decimal one place. So that is 5.3628 times 10 to the first. And that is the answer in both, both ways. Let's do the next one. 4.36 times 10 to the third. 4.36 times 10 to the third divided by 5.02 times 10 to the negative 2. And we get as far as an as far as a decimal number, 86, 852, point five nine, go ahead and round it there. Now, for scientific notation, we have to take the decimal and move it over to right here. That's one, two, three, four places. So that's 8.685259. We can round right there, times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, fourth place. All righty. The last one of the scientific notation, 6.02. 6.02. Times 10 to the 23rd power, ooh, that's a huge number, divided by 4.8 times 10 to the 25th power. And we get 0 0.0125. We could write that down in a decimal form, 0 0.0125, round it, of course, to the nearest four decimal places, whatever, and then We've got to move it for scientific notation 1, 2. So that's 1.25 times 10 to the negative 2 power. There we go. Good. Number 6. We were asked to identify each term. And we name the coefficient and degree of each term. So here's a term right there. There's a term right there. There's a term right there. And there's a term right there. So four of them. 4 q cubed, negative 2 q squared, 3 q, and negative 2. So we need the coefficient and the degree. So the coefficient is 4, negative 2, 3, and negative 2, just the numbers. And the degree of each term, 3, um, we're just taking the powers, 2, 1, and 0. And then the degree of the polynomial. So the degree of the polynomial, we pick the highest of these degrees right there. So the degree of the polynomial equals 3. Okay, number 7. This has two terms, 3p squared and 4p. The coefficient, uh, 3, just that number right in front of the variables, and that one's 4. The degree of each term, this one has degree, it's the exponent, 
2, and this one has degree 1. So the degree of the polynomial is that one, the biggest one. Degree equals 2. Alrighty, and the last one here, this is two terms. We identify 3j cubed, the coefficients of these. Uh, that one's going to be a 3, and that's a minus 5. The degree, pick that power on that variable, is a 3, and this is a 0. And the degree of the polynomial is the largest of those. So the degree equals 3. Good. The area of the black circle is 6y squared minus 2y plus 3. The area of the trapezoid is negative 2y squared plus 4y plus 11. Find the area of the white section between the black circle and the outer trapezoid. So we're trying to find this area right here. So we have to take the area of the trapezoid minus the area of that black circle, and that'll give us this area right here. So let's take the area of the trapezoid, minus 2y squared plus 4y plus 11, and we're subtracting the whole area of the circle, which is 6y squared minus 2y plus 3. So we're taking the area of the trapezoid minus the area of the circle, and that'll get us the area of that little place there. Subtracting polynomials, we need to distribute this negative, so we get a negative 6y squared, a plus 4y, and a minus 3. So stick this in here, or combine these like terms together, and we get negative 8y squared plus 8y uh, plus 8, with the 11 and the 3 going together. And there we have it, there's number 9, good.